I've always prided myself on being an honest person. But I have decided that I will not speak unless I can say the complete truth. This has made it so much harder to talk about the things that are really important to me. Samantha. I wouldn't change a thing about our prom night. Not even my ridiculous powder blue tuxedo. That's right, I rocked it hard. But I have spent so many wishing that we could have had a different ending. I have lost track of the number of times I called you crazy, and every time I did, I was so of myself. Do you remember that night when we watched the meteor shower and you put my hand on your left breast and you offered me? I still can't. All I could say was, Dad, you are the of I have ever met. Thank you. I wouldn't be half the I am today if it wasn't for you. Do you remember you said to me the first time I came home with a broken arm? You said, Jared, why don't you just? And I did, Dad. I have spent the rest of my life trying to, so that you would be of me. If I ever have kids, I'm gonna make sure they know one thing. I'm gonna make sure they know. And it's all because of you, Dad. The first time a woman told me that I was the only fat man she had ever wanted to fuck, I could only say, I almost married her. By the third woman to tell me that I was the only fat man she had ever wanted to fuck, I knew to say, I think a lot about the other women, about the ones who never told me why I was desirable, and I, that if they did, they'd say, you see, the thing about the truth is that it is almost never one thing. I just want to be an honest man while still re leaving room for all of the answers. So how come every time I try to hold the truth, it... Thank you all very much.